Oh, delivering that news and telling ESPN the deadline for college players to withdraw is 11:59 p.m. Eastern time tonight. So maybe some more names, but Bronny, of course, the son of Lakers superstar and and great LeBron James, saw his stock kind of rise after his performance in that NBA draft combine earlier this month. The Athletic also reports that this week is at least 10 workout invites from teams, but will only visit a couple of them, including the Lakers and Suns. Hmm. He's also the 56th ranked prospect when it comes to CBSSports.com rankings but taking a look at it of course that one season there mixed bag with the Trojans that team wasn't very good didn't see much time but measuring at 6-2 we had question marks about the height and 210 pounds but position ranked 15th overall and we'll see where he might go in that draft my guy Kyle Boone checking in with all the brawny watch because we're at that point now Kyle but your initial thoughts with him staying in the draft not terribly surprising, Brandon. Uh, this was kind of the expectations for for Bronny James. Whether or not he was going to be drafted, I think is is probably still probably the biggest question. Uh, but Bronny, I think, has made it clear throughout this process that he's leaning towards staying in the NBA draft and not returning to college. This is indeed the case. Obviously, the last season was not the the most spectacular production wise for him. Averaged 4.8 points per game, 2.1 assists. Per game, but has drawn some some buzz during the pre-draft process. Had a good combine week, measured a little bit shorter than expected, but I think stood out at least performed well enough during combine week that you know coming into the withdrawal deadline today, um, the decision for him to stay in the NBA draft and and be a potential top 40 pick in this class, I think is is very real for him. I mentioned he has at least 10 workout invites, but there has been something where Rich Paul has mentioned to teams that he is not doing a two way contract with Bronny James. How might they sway, you know, some executives looking at him and maybe thinking about adding him in that draft? No, I think it's going to be really interesting to follow this process because uh, Rich Paul has made it clear that he wants specific things for Bronny uh, during the draft. He wants a guaranteed contract. He's made that clear. Um, and getting a guaranteed contract specifically in this class and talking with some people in the NBA, um, I, I think is going to be really hard to come by. So the expectation, I think, in talking with people around the league is that He's looking to get drafted somewhere in the top 40. Um, they don't want a team taking a flyer on him, you know, in the late 40s or 50s and giving him like a two-way contract or a non-guaranteed deal. So I think the expectation with Bronny deciding to stay in the NBA draft is that he has probably going to get a guaranteed contract at some point. Um, the expectation, I think, because of that was he's going to be a late first round pick or early second round pick. Um, and the decision, I think, for Rich Paul to to reveal this uh, kind of preference is that he's going to go somewhere in that, you know, 20 to 30 range in this draft. Kyle, let's forget, you know, Rich Paul, the attachment to LeBron James and name himself Bronny James, a player. He's a 56 prospect. Look at the numbers that we saw there in the measurements from the combine. Who is Bronny James? Or let's say player A. Yeah, I, you know, I think Bronny James in in a vacuum, uh, you look at kind of his size and his skill. Again, the production wise at USC is not particularly great. Uh, he was listed at 6'4 at USC and, and measured at 6'1 and a half uh, when he was at the combine without shoes. Uh, but he's very athletic. He tested athletically. I think that's important. 40.5 inch max standing vertical leap. Um, his first day of scrimmages was good, not great, not spectacular, didn't stand out, but didn't look like he did not belong. And then the second day of scrimmages, I think, really showed out in a way that it was really aggressive. LeBron James, Savannah James, both in attendance there in Chicago on the second day. And it looked like he was trying to prove something so this is a guy who I think could be kind of an off the bench microwave score in the NBA his defense has always been really solid even dating back to his high school days um, and so you know I don't think he's going to be an NBA star uh, at the next level but I do think uh, in, in kind of evaluating Bronny James that he's an all-around skill set type of guy combo guard can score it can put it on the floor and there's a role for a player like him in the NBA. Before I let you go, I have to ask, where do you think he could land if we're not talking Lakers, or is that the landing spot there with Pops? 
Yeah, I, I think the Lakers would make a lot of sense. Uh, obviously, there's been uh, quite a bit of buzz because LeBron has made it very, very clear over the years he wants to play with his son. Um, and, you know, ma making that uh, make sense with the L.A. and the Lakers, I, I think just kind of connecting those dots. The Thunder make a lot of sense, I think, is, would be kind of interesting. It wouldn't be surprising if, you know, a few months we look back and say, maybe we should have seen the writing on the wall. Uh, LeBron has kind of uh, praised OKC's draft evaluators over the years, he's praised Sam Presti. They've been very, very good in terms of developing prospects. That would make a lot of sense. Obviously, OKC has a pick at number 12. I think that'd be a little bit too early, uh, but we'll see. I, I think uh, this is going to eventually clarify itself a little bit over the next couple of weeks in terms of where Bronny's range is. It's totally wide open right now because I think when you're talking about Bronny James, you're talking about potentially the next landing spot for LeBron James. So nothing with <laughs> Bronny, I think, when we're talking about him uh, is is done in a vacuum. It's going to be really interesting to see. I tell you what, we know LeBron wants to stay in L.A. If I'm Steve Ballmer, I'm like, hey, guys, you know, we could just <laughs> yeah. move him right over to our new arena there. And, and I can see Steve like, yeah. But <laughs> that's just a dream. That would be something to see, but we'll have to see when it comes to draft night. Cal Boone is always getting us ready and tapping on the Bronny James sweepstakes when it comes to that. But check out the Beyond the Arc podcast. They're always dialing it up. Hey, we're getting closer to maybe NBA Finals, hopefully sometime next week. We still have a Game 5 to get to. Bill Ryder, Ash Nicole Malls, and John Gonzalez is always crossing over and give you everything you need. All net. Just watch them on Beyond the Arc.